questions in our minds. Uh, those questions are like whether I am safe in the home, should I go to hospital, uh, how, is, how is my mom, I cannot go out, or when this corona uh, quarantine time is going to end. Uh, but there is a critical question. Uh, it's about like, uh, can I breath more? Like it's, it's really critical. And um, since um, almost uh, all the world is impacted with this um, pandemic, uh, we feel that uh, things are not going well. And um, we wanted to concentrate on the uh, critical stuff. And um, uh, yeah, we know in normal time, hospitals are utilized, uh, doctors, they are really working for us. us but we don't know. Uh, like China faced, Italy faced, all the US faced, uh, how, uh, when, when these outbreaks uh, has a peak, uh, can we just save people? Uh, can we provide enough number of uh, ventilators or respirators uh, to them? So th those are the questions we, uh, we try to um, figure out. And that's why we wanted to create a predictor for the future. Uh, and the, the, the thing that we want to do, we want to localize uh, uh, critical infrastructure and critical uh, resources. What does it mean in any uh, like country? And uh, there are some places which is like uh, less reachable, far away, but people are living there. So uh, if, and we know that this pandemic is um, how to say, affected uh, every single part of the uh, countries. So that's why we, this is the problem that we are trying to solve. We really want to address the number of doctors in any place of the uh, world, uh, which, uh, in which there's a probability that the um, whole town, whole city is a big, big risk. We just want to ensure that there's enough uh, respirators, there's enough doctors there. And for that, we start the point, um, the, the, there's a crit critical uh, point to start. We have to be able to, uh, predict the number of infections, uh, recovery and death. And what we did, uh, we gathered the uh, John Hops Hopkins data, data set, uh, which is, um, how to say, data is included with respect to the countries and, um, how to say, um, regions. And there is the location information, latitude, longitude, and also uh, 62 days of uh, historical data with respect to the number of infections and recovery and death and they, we have a good news uh, by the help of our star at the light GDM uh, we reached the 94 percent of uh, accuracy uh, for the let me see this is the number of death prediction and uh, 99.77 for the um, this is the recovery prediction and uh, 91.76 is for the infection prediction of 4th of uh, April. So this is a hope. I mean, this means that we can estimate how many people will be infected, will be died, etc. And this can help us to utilize the resources. And um, that's why um, we, we work our tool. And, uh, but the uh, critical resources are not just directly yeah, it's directly related to outbreak, number of people who are in infected, but there are other critical things. It's like um, the number of hospitals, um, yeah, some health system data, the intense care, number of intense care units. And, okay, thank you. Uh, number of bed shifts, how, many, how much time it takes to shift a person from critical unit to the normal place, etc. So we start to search for the, some data, uh, but globally we, we found some data actually. We found some data, let me show it like that, okay. But it was more easy for us to find some data in Turkey. So we, we, we see that um, we can use the, like for now, uh, we cannot predict uh, directly um, the number of um, ventilators in a just a single place because the data is not available, uh, which is how many hospitals, how many bad, etc. is not pre present. But still we can collect some data and do some manual stuff. And what we did, uh, we used the number of, um, how to say, each day for our country, I did this. Uh, when a person dies, a ventilator escapes. And um, 
it will be available. When a person recover, one ventilator will be available. And if I, I can aggregate this data with number of total uh, existing um, uh, bed and the occupation rate, for example, in Turkey, the, and there it says that 33,000 of critical care units exist. And right now it's 70% uh, available already. So it means we are in stock of if I um, minus the value with the total critical case, uh, minus the death and recovery, recovery is not still for now. Uh, I can just uh, see the number of, um, uh, for the next day, I can see the number. And if we collect this uh, kind of data uh, more properly, we can, of course, predict it. And this is going to be very useful, I believe. Um, yeah. These are the some um, is a, some graphical representation of the death recovery rates, um, and this is a global data. Uh, yeah, there are some existing data as I show you. Uh, this is the characterization of the hospitals. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, we need some really infrastructure data to process uh, as we process the uh infection um and that spread uh with machine learning we can process this and estimate this this data uh but we encourage people to help to how to say collect this data and make it globally available thank you for your time and all your all your patience i can see some questions harika thank you very much so oh. questions <laughs> Who's gonna start? She didn't say that these need to be easy questions, so. No, it's okay, I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? No one? So you mentioned that you uh, crunched the data from Turkey right now. Yeah. Are you planning to do, uh, to, to analyze some other data in the future? Uh, what kind of data, for example? uh what kind of data so you mean um uh, right now uh, we have the data of like daily critical case uh, and to people who are just next to the critical case uh, case total death recovery and number of tests uh, and also some uh thanks to that there are some like available uh, stuff um uh, data uh, 2016 data it is i can show you like that here uh, so this is the um, occupancy, occupancy rate of the hospital. So it says the, this is private, this is like a government, etc. In between 60 to 80 percent, all the um, beds are occupied. And here, this is the uh, emergency care uh, center number of the um, beds. And this is the um, how many, how, how much time it takes one person to like, uh, go out of the um, critical care center. It says 4.7 days, um, but as a part of our analysis, it's three days for COVID, uh, like COVID patients. Our doctors can redirect us better because I see that uh, there is a pattern in between the data. I see that if a person enters to the, um, how to say, enters to the uh, critical care center, um, just this data is kind of shifted a little bit. Yeah, four days after either he dies or he recovers. Uh, but this is just uh, uh, like how many days of analysis like this one. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Next question. Really? Uh, can you tell us what are your next steps? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this week we will be collecting some health related data. I mean, we will, we will be in, um, how to say, we see that um, uh, we can predict, um, how to say, a sequential data. I also did some work on uh, RNNs. LSTM just to learn the data uh, feature and predict the number of infections. Uh, but to be able to, how uh, to say, um, contribute this data to the like estimating critical in infrastructure, also just the redirecting the doctors from one place to another place. I, I feel this is also very important. 
Uh, we just need the number of doctors in a uh, certain hospital available uh, with a certain know-how, uh, maybe infected number of, uh, to say, health people. And uh, yeah, we will try to just gather some data just to be able to uh, highlight related data. To, uh, because as I listen to other friends, like they did their good portals to just make the data visible, also some real-time tracking of the, like, infrastructure uh, like ventilators etc uh, but uh, they also share the same thing uh, right now uh, some health data unfortunately is uh, private uh, so since it is private we, we can try to estimate so we will try to estimate with just some assumptions like we will try to relate uh, the as i show you here uh, this is a global uh, this is in US 29 states, uh, the, um, how to say, the table of uh, hospital, um, type of hospital, location of hospital, etc. Here we can just try to estimate some numbers. Okay, thank you and good luck. Thanks a lot. Can I just uh, uh, ask a, a small question? You mentioned, okay. uh, and perhaps I, I missed uh, the part where you explained it, but you mentioned that you observed some uh, patterns in the data where your patients yeah. would either recover or they would uh, die. Uh, do you plan to within four week, four days? You said, or or, or the, okay. So, do you plan to uh, further uh, this um, aspect of the analysis? Because I know uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, uh, a lot of the older patients who mm -hmm. are in frail health are discouraged from going to the hospital because they are uh, assumed to die very quickly. So mm -hmm. perhaps this is an avenue that you can also take into account if you are observing such patterns in your data. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I have lots of graphics, actually. I analyze mm -hmm. lots of cases just to in inspire. And here it's it, there is a graphic in four days. It's like a linear, like okay, uh, yeah. So uh, and in, for Turkey, this is what I'm trying to um, like compute here. Uh, how can I show? Um, this is the total case, but mm -hmm. daily case. They, in daily case, uh, there is 70 death and 70 newly uh, critical care. Mm -hmm. So it means when a, when 70 person goes out of the uh, hospital. 70 per person uh, enters okay. uh, and yeah kind of like th there is the I, I i see there is a good uh, information yeah in, and also yeah it's uh, to me it's discouraging to see the 14 days of um, um analysis because we don't know when the symptom starts so i uh, to me it's it's really important to um, concentrate on the critical part because like I compare the Italy with the um, South Korea and mm -hmm. I check the data in the first 35th of day same day both countries infected and uh, I see that there is a risky population in all the countries mm -hmm. and they can only be uh, protected with just this is isolation if there is no isolation we need respirators and all this mm -hmm. uh, support okay Cool, thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is why Israel, I think, has really good results. I don't know if you paid attention yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah, I, I tried to check it because this is really beneficial, good practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the best one so far. The least measurements and the most effective. But that's for you to decide. Next question. No more questions? Is it possible? Not even the bad hair day people? No? Okay, okay. So thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I'm not sure if you were the last. Let's see. One, uh, uh, once again, let's call for the regal heroes. 